Spies in Disguise. Um, I know this comes out at the end of the year. And I'm pretty sure it has Will Smith in it. Animation. It says trailer number three. I haven't seen one or two. I don't remember seeing one or two either, which is why that's what I was going to bring up. I'm like, I don't remember seeing anything about this movie. Was it some? It, oh, it's got Tom is, Holland too. Yes, this was a Fox movie, and then um, they pushed it back multiple times because ah, of the um, the buyout. Yeah. So I don't know if like they just never released the first couple trailers because they're not really promoting much of their um, yeah Fox Fox movies unless they're award contenders. So, but this is supposed to, I think, come out the end of the year um, and continue on the Will Smith train. So we will see. But um, it's supposed to be cute. So three, two, one, play. Guess it's time to introduce myself. I'm Will Smith. <laughs> Long start. Just three ounces of pressure to the vagus nerve. And then, look at your boy, Sleepy Night Night. Lance Sterling, a legendary spy who's always dressed to impress. Reba McIntyre. Walter Beckett, graduated MIT at 15 and works in the Tech Innovations Lab. There are so many gadgets I want to test in the field. For example, the inflatable hug. <laughs> kind of a personal protection device I've been developing. This is a vile waste of taxpayer dollars. This is your next objective. None of our agents can get close to him. I have something that can help. It's called biodynamic concealment. Imagine if I can make you disappear. Hey, Lance. Look at me. Look at you? I can see my butt and your face <laughs> at the same time. That is so cool. Being a pigeon can make you an even better spy. Pigeons are everywhere and nobody notices them. In fact, pigeons can see in slow motion. <laughs> that was tight. Did anyone else see a, 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 a pigeon? And pigeons can fly up to 92 miles per hour. Don't you throw me off this roof! He'll figure it out. Boom. All right, Kamura. Starting. It's about to get messy. Time to go sleepy night night. <laughs> Miss my hands. I gotta stay. We have different skill sets. That's what makes us such a great team. Walter, you're squeezing too. Oh! Huh? What happens in the submarine stays in the submarine. <laughs> so I can definitely see why Fox uh, bought. <laughs> Blue Sky, because it's supposed to be a competitor against, like, Pixar and all How fast movies. can a pigeon fly? Because I call bullshit on that right off the bat. 77 miles per hour. Yep. Oh, they jumped it up a little bit. It is uh -huh. a cartoon. Yeah. Um, but that, I mean, it looked cute. Family movie around the Christmas, around Christmas time, if you don't want to go see, you know, Star Wars or Jumanji. If you don't want to see, if you don't waste your money on good movies, go see this animated shit. Well, what, what are your kids, I mean, you take your kids to go see Star Wars and you take your kids to go see Jumanji, but what are the little kids supposed to watch? Well, how little? Because if you're, if my know. son is eight our, and he I would. Know. Our kids, I'm talking about the people that maybe don't like Star Wars okay. or Jumanji. Which there's nobody, so the. There are people. No, well, they don't need to go out in public. And they don't need to take a kid that's younger than my son to a movie. My son's eight. That's like the minimum requirement I think you need to be able to go to a movie. Because if you have somebody who's still shitting their britches and crying during it, oh, you don't yeah, need I to see that. it in public. Yeah, but, I nah, I'm bleh. Bleh, that's what it was. It was bleh. It, it was like somebody with a dartboard like, Hah! all right, pigeon, <laughs> spy. All right, uh, who are two popular people? Oh, here, get the, yeah, bring that board in. <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> Tom Holland. What can we do? Somebody get working on this. That is so. That, that actually sounds like. like what what happened at Fox and why they got bought. 
house. That's why they don't exist anymore. I like and that's that. why they haven't been promoting this movie. Yeah, I like both the actors. I don't give a shit about that movie. <laughs> no. It's not directed towards you, though. Like, it's, it's directed towards... I can still enjoy kid movies. movies. That abominable snowman-looking movie? That was a kid's movie, and we both enjoyed that. It looked good. The, the trailer, which it didn't yeah. do very well in theaters. But yeah. I mean, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. It did show up number one in theaters. But it didn't have competition? Uh, but it didn't have competition, and it's actually the it was the lowest grossing movie from that studio. Yeah, so um, you that but, you can't say that uh, they they may not be directed towards me, but I can have a decent opinion about it because I wouldn't mind watching that one. Yeah, um, like I mean, uh, doesn't Frozen come out? Does Frozen come out in November or December? I would assume December. It's called Frozen. I, but I I think it's November actually. But anyways, like this this isn't gonna be even. I don't think that this movie would be set around. I don't think when does Frozen 2 smart? come out? Thank you. Uh, November 22nd. All oh, right, it's going to so be a yeah. birthday movie for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, so they, they wouldn't put this movie, even though it, basically Disney's just throwing their Fox movies out. Like, just go. get Just go out and, like, we'll, we'll make a little bit of money off you. We don't care. We're not promoting you. It's or funny not. how we talk about Frozen 2 on a trailer reaction for something else. That's how bad that fucking movie is. It's not bad. It's just, it's just not I don't give a great. shit about it. I don't give a shit about it. All right, then. <laughs> it's going to be my dartboard. <laughs> I need to get one. I'm going to put a dartboard right there, and I'm just going to put shit on it, just random stuff, and just start throwing throwing darts. 